Hi there, this is Jay Lusk, your Duke Graduate and Professional Student Government, or GPSG President, here with a flash FAQ about surveillance testing. Let's start with the big question. Why do we even do surveillance testing at all? Data collected here at Duke actually shows that 50% of cases in the Duke community were asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic, and that these folks were actually capable of passing on the virus even if they didn't have symptoms. Quarantining, isolation, and further testing limits the spread of COVID-19 on campus and in our broader community. It's worth noting that unchecked on-campus transmission can lead to exponential growth in COVID-19 transmission. And it's crucial that we avoid spreading COVID-19 to vulnerable members of the Duke and the Durham community. Another question we're commonly getting asked is, how do students even get selected for a test? Students across campus have expressed confusion about how they themselves get picked, the frequency of testing, etc. Well, the answer is schools and programs actually have different testing schedules. Most graduate and professional students, although not all, will get tested about once a week. Now, at the beginning of the semester, most students were being tested three times a week, which caused a lot of consternation. The answer to this about why this was happening is actually that the surveillance testing team was trying to pick up asymptomatic cases that may have been acquired through travel at a time when COVID-19 numbers were spiking across the country. It's not anticipated that we're going to go back to three times a week testing because uh, we know how inconvenient that is uh, for students throughout most of the semester. It's also worth noting that Duke has a modeling system in place that identifies places, either geographic, uh, on campus or off campus, or communities like programs, schools, or departments that have positive tests and then samples people in those communities more to try and pick up on asymptomatic spread of the virus. This is why you'll oftentimes only get one day's notice for your COVID-19 surveillance test, because the modeling system has only recently identified a, a location that needs further testing in real time. Another commonly asked question we get is, are faculty and staff getting surveillance tested? Testing for faculty and staff is optional. Most student-facing staff and in-person faculty are encouraged to participate in the program, and we hope that a large number of these folks are actually taking part in the program. You can see in the weekly COVID-19 surveillance test numbers that a significant chunk of staff and faculty have participated in the surveillance testing program along with students. A common question is, what happens if I can't make my test? I'm out of town or otherwise completely unavailable on that day. The answer is you should email your program point of contact, and they should work with you to come up with an acceptable arrangement. It's important you make your test on the day you're assigned because of that modeling system I talked about before, but you should reach out to your program contact. Things happen in life, they should be understanding and be able to help get you sorted out. A big question that arose even at the beginning of last semester. Does this testing program take away valuable tests from the Durham community? GPSG was very strongly opposed to any type of surveillance testing program that would divert testing capacity from Durham. And we're very pleased uh, that the university developed a surveillance testing program that makes the entire supply chain all in-house at Duke. Duke's supply chain has not taken away supply of tests or necessary equipment from the rest of the Durham community. And actually, it's probably helped the Durham community by decreasing student spread, since graduate and professional students mostly live off campus, and both graduate and professional students and undergraduates make, us, make up a significant chunk of the Durham community. The next question, we've had a chunk of our students, mostly health profession students, who've already got the COVID-19 vaccine. And these students are wondering if they can stop surveillance testing. The answer actually is no, because it's not currently known if vaccines stop the spread uh, or transmission of the virus, or just prevent one individual from getting infected. As we know more about this as the semester progresses and as vaccination becomes more widely available to the population, we'll update you if there are any additional information. Now, lots of graduate and professional students have classes or work during the day. Where can I get a test done before or after working hours? GPSG has advocated very strongly for a testing site that meets the needs of the graduate and professional student population. And we're glad to report that the Washington Duke site is open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. throughout the semester to allow for graduate and professional students with busy schedules to make that surveillance testing window. Parking is also free with or without a student parking permit at that site. And the last question, which we've more of a statement, which is that I'm just sick and tired of doing this surveillance testing regimen. Well, it's important to remember, we understand the fatigue. I feel it myself as someone who gets surveillance tested frequently as well, that uh, it's, it's tough to take time out of your day to go and go to a surveillance testing site and participate in the process. 
But this program has also been remarkably successful, uh, successful at keeping the entire Durham and Duke community safe, protecting vulnerable people, and limiting the spread of this virus that has done so much harm to our community here in Durham, our community here uh, in the United States, and across the world. On a more quote-unquote selfish note, if, if spread were to pick up, on-campus opportunities and the education of students will inevitably suffer. So try and tough it out. We've got a bright future on the horizon with successful COVID-19 vaccines around the corner, and hopefully the surveillance testing program will once be a distant memory. Till then, if you have any questions, as always, please shoot me an email at jay.lusk at duke.edu. GPSG is here to try and advocate and make the surveillance testing program most effective for students and also the most convenient and unobtrusive. And if you have any feedback, we are glad to work with the administration to advocate for your interests. Take care and stay safe.